some of these members of this shift were a part of the life-saving average from the Circleville High School back in October of last year. Sergeant Hafey received a life-saving award. Um, they had that process in place. Circleville Fire Department didn't have that process in place. And that was one of the things that I wanted to bring to the department was recognition for a job well done. Because a lot of times you only hear the negative. Um, and as, as much as uh, Mr. Hafey and the, and the staff at the high school deserve the, their accolades, this crew did as well. Um, so um, with some effort, uh, this is the point, hopefully the first of many, uh, but today um, some of the two unit shift and uh, Ms. Bray from uh, three unit will receive a life-saving accommodation bar uh, for their dress uniforms, along with a certificate of appreciation from me, um, as well as uh, the family from the young lady that um, had the medical emergency at the high school, they will be here. Um, I was kind of thrown together at the last minute, but everything fell in place to, so everybody could attend. So we want to get this out to them and, uh, and show them that we truly appreciate what they do, not only in that situation, but on a daily basis. Sure, and I know that your job is, is to save lives. I mean, that's what you guys do day in and day out. But when you have special cases and things like um, this, this individual child, I mean, getting an accommodation for that. Well, what does that mean for you? I mean, you have 20 years experience. Yeah, um, you know, like I said, a lot of times we only hear the negative. Um, but when you have these unique situations as this run was, where after everything's transpired, all the emotions have gone through it, and you can actually reunite with this person from the tragic episode that they had and talk to them and them realize what part that you had in that and you know get a picture or a hug with them because you played that role in their survival I mean that's that's something you can't put a price tag on um, and, and like I said you know this is you know a, a morsel from for me the department and the city um, for a job that they do very well and you know I know it's expected of them because they're firefighters EMTs paramedics but um, to go and visit an individual after they've had this kind of catastrophe and uh, inquire about them after the fact, um, that takes a, a special person, special kind of people, and, and they've displayed that. So I want to recognize them for not only their efforts on that day, but their continued efforts as we go forward. Awesome. And the three people that are being... Uh, before, um, Captain Scott Cavanaugh. Uh, he's up here. Yep. That, that is a the officers uh, accommodation bars in gold. So Scott and Lieutenant Mike Schroyer will receive those. Um, the other two accommodation bars are in silver for line firefighters. Um, firefighter paramedic Kendall Leland and firefighter EMT Laura Bray will receive those today. Awesome. All right. um, everybody, thank you for being here. Um, we started this out today with a uh, pretty great occasion. We hired a new firefighter that's on uh, Captain Cavanaugh shift on two unit. Um, Trevor Hubble's our, our new hire and he started today. Um, so with everything coming together for today, um, I've been working on something um, since, I tried to work on it since before um, the incident we had back in October. Um, and it was kind of hard to get something that wasn't there built up. So um, I wanted to do a commendation program at the fire department. Um, we've talked about it in officers' meetings, uh, about doing something to recognize um, what these people do well, very well, um, and it's evident from what they do uh, on the trucks, and, and I can't say enough nice things about the people that I have on my department. So I decided after Mr. Hafey's, Sergeant Hafey's uh, uh, life-saving award from the police department, since we didn't have uh, that program in place, that would be a perfect way to start. Um, so three of the four individuals are here today that um, were there that day. Um, and uh, Captain Cavanaugh, Lieutenant Mike Schroyer, and Firefighter Paramedic uh, Kendall Leland, um, they were there that day. They responded um, and they kept in touch uh, all throughout uh, uh, the outcome of that. And you know, it takes a special kind of person to stay attached to that and not just say the runs over and walk away. Um, and these guys do this quite often. They call and, and, and try to get updates on, on patients' outcomes and, and 
you know, it, it does. It takes a special kind of person to stay invested in that, uh, especially with the stressful job that we do on a daily basis. So I'm going to read Scott's. They're all the same other than the header. Um, and then as I give them their, uh, their certificates, I'm also going to give them a, a commendation pin for the Class A's. Um, it's a life-saving award that's recognized throughout the fire service. Um, so with that being said, I'm going to read Scott's and then I'll present them individually. <clears throat> Letter of commendation issued by Fire Chief Brian Thompson. On October 12, 2019, during the Circle High School homecoming dance, 14-year-old student became unresponsive with cardiac arrest. Your quick response providing aid and assuming the care that was already being provided on the scene assisted in the outcome that we all strive for in our duties. It is my honor and privilege to award these life-saving accommodation bars for your care, compassion, effectiveness in this life-saving procedures on that day. You and your crew's actions exemplify why we are here and why we do the jobs we do. You are invaluable members of the Circleville Fire Department and the City of Circleville, and I take great pride in awarding you this great honor. So, Captain Cavanaugh, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. And Firefighter Paramedic Kendall Leland. And I won't, I won't leave out that these guys are two paramedics, so. I just, since they have rank, I just hold that. Um, Laura Bray, a firefighter, EMT Laura Bray, uh, she was unable to attend today um, with work conflict. So as well, uh, Laura Bray will receive this um, accommodation from us on her next shift. So um, if, if the family would like to say anything, you're more than welcome. I understand it, it, if you don't, um, but um, I just want to thank each and every one of you, each and everybody that's here um, that was gracious enough to come up and and share this with us. So um, just like to give these guys a round of applause, we'll close.